Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Crazy. You're back again with another Hot Wheel video. Today, we're going to be reviewing some of my personal favorite Hot Wheels. Um, I'm just going to be straightforward as is right now. There is a lot of GTRs that I've had collected, and I'm just a big GTR lover. I love my Skylines. I love my GTRs. Um, you know, growing up as a kid and watching the Fast and Furious movie, that's what made me fall in love with that. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's not too overwhelming with the GTRs and whatever. It's just one of my personal favorite cars. Um, I'm also thinking about showing off what I, all my whole collection. So if you don't want to see that, drop a like down below or just by commenting because I will be more than welcome to show my whole entire collection on the walls. I mean, you guys have seen that already, but I'm talking about in my tub and my box that I have separate from my GTRs from my actual Hot Wheels. So if you guys want to see that, comment down below or just by liking the video that'd be much much appreciated also before we get right into this video here's my new pc build if you all want to see that comment that or just by liking the video like i said um i'm just gonna be honest this build is 10 times better than my other build that i had so i am definitely falling in love with this build but anyways let's get right into this video coming at probably I, I mean, I don't even think I'm going to rate these. Honestly, the first Hot Wheel that I have to show off is the Fast and Furious GTR Skyline. Um, so, originally, how I found this, or actually, I did not find this. My dad gave this to me for a, I think, a Christmas present or birthday present. I thought that was really, really cool. I do like this. I have the newer look. I should have got that down so you guys could have done the side-by-side -side comparison. And then uh, here's Riley again. Um, so yeah, here, <laughs> here's a look at that, and then, um, yeah, moving on to, I guess, the second one. I guess, before we move on to the other car, here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the older one, and then here is the newer one, and then here's my dog, Riley. Oh, here's my dog, Riley. <laughs> here is a, oh, God. Here's a side by side, if I can actually show you guys. <laughs> um, so right here, here's the side by side. First one, my favorite. The HKS GTR, honestly, when my dad gave this to me, I was actually super, super shocked and happy because out of this whole set, um, this I think this was like the hardest one to get. I think I have not seen this set because at the time when this set came out, it was during um, COVID. So it was a lot harder to, you know, just leave the house and whatever. At the time, I did not care about collecting Hot Wheels that much. But I'm super glad that I actually got this from my dad. So here's a whole set. I really wish I could get my hands on that. That would be really cool. I do like Audis as well. Here is another GTR that I got from my father for my birthday last year. Sorry about the dust. They've just been sitting on the wall. So it is the 50th anniversary. So here's a look at the top. I mean, like I said, it's a bit dusty, so I do apologize. Um, yeah, honestly, this is really cool. I do like this a lot. I wish this had like a green version or, you know what I mean, a greenie since it's part of the green light series or green light company. Uh, that'd be really cool if it had a greenie, but I don't think this has a chase actually or a greenie yeah it just says limited edition on the side right here coming at another fast and furious car that i um got for my birthday a couple years ago here is another one really really cool i have like multiple of these ones from that one z guy and then a few other people so i thought that was a really really cool Team Transport Skyline R32. I do like this a lot. I know, I think the new Hot Wheel Boulevard, they have a van. I'm going to throw a picture up on the screen so you guys see that because I think that would be really cool if I can find that and then open one of these because I have like two of them. I'm going to open one of these and put it on my display case over there and have it be like a little, um, what do you want to call it? Like a cockpit area. Like you got the van, you got the semi that carries the car. I think that'd be really, really dope. So, yeah. Here is a look at a Porsche. What is this? The RWB Porsche. This is one of my favorite Porsches too. I have a lot of Porsches I do like. I'm starting to get into Porsches because they're really, really cool as well. Um, 
I did trade this from that one Z guy. I wish I got my hands on this set, but it was super hard at the time to get. And then he found one and that was really, really cool. So yeah, honestly, one of my favorite Porsche team, one of my favorite Porsches and then one of my favorite team transport Porsches. So I thought that was really cool. And then coming at another R34 of the Team Transport, here's this. Oh, this is loose and it's moving. But yeah, I, I like this one a lot. I actually have, well, once I get it out, yeah, this, I think this is pretty cool that they have. I actually have like a real rider of this. I mean, technically this is a real rider, but the car itself, I have the R34 itself. So here's a look at that. Coming out of newer team transport is the R35 Liberty Lock. I was super happy when I got my hands on these because these are super hard to find and a lot of people were going crazy, but it's finally calmed down. So when I found these, when they first came out, I was like, I have to get them. I had to pick up two, one to keep one to open because I am not no scalper because it's not fun for other people if they have to pay out of, the, out of the butt just to get a team transport. And I hate doing that. So yeah. This is one of my personal favorites as well. Sorry if I also keep turning back. It's just, you know, put back, grab, put back, grab. You know what I mean? It's just a lot easier. Um, coming in at, I keep doing that. <laughs> favorite movies growing up as a kid. And also one of my favorite sea animals is a shark. And then one of my favorite movies is Jaws. I love watching those movies as a kid. They were all, they were like on the top of my list of favorite movies. So yeah, I thought that was really cool to show off to you guys because I do like this a lot. And then here is the Hot Wheel Boulevard I was just talking about with that team transport. Here is a um, GTI by itself. My first chase, I know I've showed this off, but for the new viewers, here is my first chase I've ever, ever collected and found. I was super happy. I wish at the time I was recording Hot Wheel videos. A lot more out in public but i did not and then here's riley again because he's excited so are you excited are you excited for my chase huh all right Ew. so yeah here's a look at that i thought that was really cool to find um one of my favorite games i know a lot of people kind of hate on it but now a lot of people are actually in love with it because of the new update in the anime that came out is the cyberpunk game that is the cyber cyberpunk 2077 johnny silver and porsche when i first found out while playing that game my first ever playthrough through cyberpunk when i found out that there was an actual R irl porsche in the game like i felt like it was actually mods onto console it wasn't like you had to go through download that no it was actually physically in the game so i thought that was super cool and a lot of people were going crazy over that so i was super glad i could get my hands on it i want to buy another one so i can open it and put it in my display case because that'd be really really cool but yeah this is one of my personal favorite also as well coming down to the last three this is the only super treasure hunt in the whole video is the 50th anniversary gtr super treasure hunt I was unlucky to find one out in the wild, so I had to buy one from a reseller, and thank God it was an actually legit seller. Not, no, I'll pay this much, and then you absolutely get scammed. I take your money, so on and so forth. I was super happy when I got this. Oh, I was, uh, but it's so sexy. Let me take it out of here so you guys can really see the blue, and it, it's a really sexy car. It's one of my personal favorite supers. Here is a look at it. Oh my God. It is so beautiful. <laughs> oh man. It's so pretty. Oh man. It's one of my favorite supers. I'm just going to keep glazing this, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, honestly, I am super happy that I actually paid for it. I'm not happy for how much I paid for it, but it is what it is. When you love something that much and you really like it, you got to get what you pay for pretty much. But not everyone's like that. The last two, I was 
thankful for my dad again. He's also a hot with collector, so he's been collecting a lot longer. So half of these cars have been given to me, our birthday presents, our Christmas presents. The last two are the, I think these came out in 2020, are the GTR R34s. And when I was shocked he gave me these, I was so happy. I love these. These are awesome. One of my top personal favorite Hot Wheels. I don't think anyone's, not anyone, I don't think any car that I find or get is going to replace these. And I know the blue one is going for a ridiculous amount of money on eBay right now. I think it's going like for 500. I think the purple one's kind of calmed down a little bit. I think it's going like 200, 300. But I always like to say that these two put together are like roughly around $1,000. So I was like, oh, if I sold these, I have $1,000. Or like, oh, I have $1,000 sitting in my room, kind of, you know, pretty much kind of jokingly. I would never sell these. I love these cars way too much to get rid of or just sell them in general because they were one of my personal favorite Hot Wheels that I've ever received and gotten as a Christmas present. I think that's what happened. Yeah, he gave me these as a Christmas present. So I was super happy and thankful that he did that. But anyways, that is going to wrap up the video. Uh, hopefully this is a lot longer for you guys to enjoy. So hopefully you guys found a snack and a beverage. Um, like I said, if you all want to see the PC build or see my whole entire Hot Wheel collection, please like the video or just by commenting down below. That would be much appreciated. But make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe if you guys have not already. But anyways, make sure you guys are staying safe. Make sure you guys are staying positive. As always, peace. Bye.